Hey everybody, Justin from Gold Penguin here, and this is the third video in a website design series using Breakdance Builder. Uh, yeah, today we're going to be doing headers and footers. So a header um, is going to, well, it'll look a little bit better than this, but um, what a header does is add something to every single page on your website that will be at the top of every page. So you have your header, you have all of your content that you actually edit on your page, and then you're going to have your footer. Um, yeah, so in the header, I like to include a logo at the top left. I will have a navigation bar in the middle. And then on the right, I like to add the call to action or contact us button, but really is up to you. I'm gonna be showing you both the format and the actual, uh, like how to make it and how to set it up, but you can customize the format. You don't have to follow along with me, but let's go ahead and start with showing you how to do this. So when I refresh this page, it is gone. There is no header on this website. Um, we can head into breakdance headers to add this, add a header, and call it whatever you want. I'll call it main header if you guys, I don't know, have uh, other headers that you have planned. Or um, you plan on having different headers depending on the type of page that you're on, which is also definitely something that I've seen done. We're going to add this header everywhere, though. We don't have any conditions, nothing special. We want this to be on every page, every page, everywhere. Uh, you could add conditions if you wanted to, like, hey, we only want this header to show on pages when the author is admin. Um, you could say things like if the browser is one of these, which is actually kind of insane that they let you do that. Um, but I would say the most useful thing would be if post or page or like category of a page. I don't know if that's on here. Um, yeah, so things like that are equal. Like if post is hello world on this specific blog post, you'll have this header. Or if post is not hello world, then you know you could do the other way. Uh, we're not going to add any of these. And then priority is just how important is it. So the higher priority, that's going to take a bigger precedent. But we've got no headers, so it doesn't really matter. Go ahead and add this header and then edit in breakdance. Once we're in the builder, it's going to look like any other page in our structure pane. We've got nothing. But we're going to go ahead and add a menu builder, oops, I'm sorry, a header builder to the page. And so the header builder is going to have a lot of this formatting kind of done for us already uh, with the container. Uh, don't worry about this if you're trying to build a simple header, this is going to be perfect for you. So inside of here, we're going to add three elements. We're going to add an image, which will have our logo in it. We are going to add a menu builder, which will be this beautiful builder. And then we are also going to add a button. Just like, uh, not sure why that, oh, okay, I get that. I guess, okay. So yeah, this looks pretty ugly right now, so we're gonna clean it up. So click on your image and choose an image. We're going to use the gold penguin logo for this, and you can see how this looks. But you might be saying, whoa, 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 this, uh, this, this logo is a bit too large, don't really need it to be that important. Uh, so you might want to change the image size to thumbnail, but you can quickly see when you do something like this that the image itself kind of gets blurry. You could definitely see those pixels here, but over here you see it's a pretty sharp logo. So how do you make this smaller while still maintaining the original aspect uh, of this image? We're going to set this to full, add your alt text, whatever you want to do, link it, caption it. I would link it to the homepage of your website, which you could just type slash, and that's going to be the homepage of your website. Uh, but yeah, how do we make this? We will go into the art box, go into image, and we will set the width to a percentage. And this is going to shrink the full size image down to the specified width instead of saying, okay, we're going to grab a lower quality image and just make it smaller. No, we're going to set this to 10%. And so we've got 10% of the full size image right over here. It looks beautiful. looks wonderful. And now we'll start editing our menu, which we have our menu builder. Luckily, this includes pretty much everything you could need in this builder. We've got certain things like a link, which this is just going to take you to wherever you have it going to. You could type in that link here. We have menu dropdowns, which are really cool. Uh, we have another video on how to edit these. But inside of here, you will see there's categories and tons of things that you can edit. Looks really, really beautiful. It gives you a lot of customization and a lot of things that you could do with it. And then our last thing that we're going to do is, or last thing in here is a custom dropdown. Again, these are all going to be in here by default, so go ahead and play around, do whatever you want with them. Um, but the custom dropdown is going to have a, I believe it's, oh, it's actually not a register. But what I would do in here is, uh, I guess getting a little off topic, is add a register form just like this, where if someone you know wants to register, they click on this and it'll open this form up with this form on here. 
But uh, yeah, that's getting a little complicated. That's not something for this video, but that's just my idea of something you'd want to put in a custom dropdown. I don't really know why else you'd want to have a custom dropdown if it wasn't for a form. Um, and then yeah, you could go through these and kind of see the ways that they're formatted, uh, different kind of customization styles of cool things that you could do. So that's the easy menu bar. You can go ahead and duplicate a bunch of things here. And yeah, super sick. And then if you click on the main menu builder, you have all of these options and you can change things like on mobile and other options of how you choose. And then the last thing is the button. So I always include a CTA call to action in the, in the header. I want this on every page. I want this everywhere. And we're going to go ahead and call this contact us. If you're a lawyer, you could say free consultation. You could really do whatever you want to do. And then inside link, again, you could type slash contact, which would go to whatever the URL of your website is, goldpenguin.org, and then it would add slash contact. But an easy way to do this if you have pages done, if not, you can go ahead and create the pages and come back to this later, is you can click on this little hyperlink and you will see all of the pages on your website. You can click contact, add link, and boom, it is done just like that. If you want to change the button styling, you can go to this art tab, hit button, and you have some styles. So here's a little overview is primary and secondary are going to be from our last tutorial where we didn't actually go over it, but if we go into our global settings, we can see buttons here. And so primary and secondary basically just say, hey, we're going to create two styles of buttons that are going to be used pretty much on the whole website. One is a primary one, one is a secondary one. As you can see here, our primary one is wrapped. Go ahead and edit primary and secondary once and then change it for everything or every time that you have a button. Primary looks very primary. It's got that distinctive, hey, this is, you know, click me, I'm an important button. Secondary has that outline of where it actually does the opposite. When you hover, it uh, shows that. But yeah, you can also hit custom if you just want one button changed for one specific instance and you have all of the normal button settings that you would have at any other time. If you want to make it round, if you want to whatever outline does, um, pretty much mess around with anything you want, change all the colors, and just really have it be your way. So that's it for the button. Uh, and then global settings are in here. And boom, just like that, we have a logo, a menu navigation bar, and a button added to the header page of our website. Go ahead and save this, and we can take a look at what it looks like on the front end. Go and visit your website, and then refresh the page. And you should now see a beautiful, beautiful header um, on the page. One more thing I wanted to mention before we do the footer, which works in pretty much the same way, um, is if we want to change this and see what it looks like on other devices, tablet and below are most likely going to have this little hamburger bar. So they click this and it will take up a screen like this and pretty cool. It's really responsive. And then you still have that contact us that is there. It is prominent on that page and it looks pretty beautiful. Again, you can go ahead and customize this to your liking, but these are the defaults. Remember that 10% is going to be 10% depending on the device. So everything works out pretty well. Uh, let's hop into the footer, which works the same way, but we are going to have some different information there. Okay, so to add a footer to the website, we're going to do what we did with headers, but we're going to the footers tab and we're going to hit add footer. Call this whatever you want, like main footer and apply it to all your pages. Keep the priority the same, add any conditions that you want, but I do want this footer everywhere, so I'm not going to change anything, and let's go ahead and edit. So we're going to build the footer kind of the same way we build the header, but we're just going to include different content, because a website footer does not really have the same things as a header. So go ahead and add an element, and we're also, we're still going to add a, we're going to add an, a header builder, uh, just like we did before, because it lets us format things pretty easily. And then in here, we're going to have some text that says copyright. Uh, gold penguin we will have a made by kind of text and then we will have some social media icons on the right side so in order to do this we are going to add text we are going to add a link text there is another way of doing this but we can add a text link and then we will add social oops 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 oops, oops. <laughs> we will add social icons and so uh, these should be formatted pretty nicely and then now all you have to do is change the text so go ahead and in the text write whatever you want I like to say copyright and then paste the copyright symbol the year uh, and then write gold penguin so go ahead and do that as you wish in the text link um, this would normally be uh, the credits that we give ourselves for developing the website so we would say made with 
uh, I'd put an emoji in here, but I don't have one made with love by gold penguin uh, Definitely would not normally make it this obvious though So there's some other other styling changes that I would make but not gonna worry about those right now And then I would have this link to goldpenguin.org and just like that now whenever someone sees that it'll say made with love by gold penguin but definitely if I were to be making this then I do want to add oh there you go I could add uh, could add an emoji so made with love by gold penguin looks a little weird <laughs> but again go ahead and, and do whatever you want to do this also supports custom HTML if you are a little bit familiar with web development so you could do something and say like made with love by and then um, actually what this would be is a text instead of a text link if you don't want the whole thing to be hyperlinked you could say made with love by and then you would do an a tag which is um, a, a link tag so a is a link href is going to be the reference that we're going to do to the, the website and we will go ahead and put goldpenguin.org in here and then we will close the tag like this and then in here we say gold penguin and so now we could see made with love by and then the text that's inside of here and then it's going to be hyperlinked to go to gold penguin so that's a little bit better and then for the social icons go ahead and in here we are easily able to customize you know where this goes uh gold penguin whatever you know the social networks are that you want to use on your website you could change this you could delete a few of them if you don't want any of these um, and you really have a decent amount of customization options and just like that your footer is done go ahead and save it head over to the main page of your website and now you can see we have our beautiful header that we designed we have our content which will go here on every single page and then we have our footer right here with our hyperlink our social media icons and our copyright symbol so go ahead and design this however you want these are just some some sample you know sample format I decided to go with but that's pretty much it for this tutorial. That's it with headers. That's it with footers. It's the same thing. You're just going to include different content. Um, and it looks pretty great. So yeah, we'll see you in the next video. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really helps, out, helps us out a lot. And thanks for watching. See you soon.